This is the first impression video of Media Garden 2018, the new version of Liu Xing Huayuan. Hi, you're watching Avenue X, where a junkie on good storytelling shares her thoughts, knowledge, and occasional weird ideas on stories and how they're told. Another freshly made old story, Meteor Garden 2018, has just aired in China. This drama is exclusively on Hunan TV's platforms, on Mongo TV Online, and then on Satellite TV on their station. So far, I haven't seen it uh, anywhere available uh, within China online or outside China. But this is internet, so I'm pretty sure very soon it's gonna be picked up somewhere. If you have been watching Asian drama for a while, this is the drama or a remake of a classic drama that there's just no way that you've never heard about it. There have been the original Taiwan version, the sequel to the original Taiwan version that a lot of people hated, a mainland China version, South Korea version, Japanese, you know, uh, based on the original Japanese manga version. And now we have a new mainland Chinese version, but still produced by the Taiwan original series producer. This new version is set to be 49 episodes. Oh, I'm just like, why? You know, this is the type of story, again, you can cut it at 30 and it will be great. It has aired six episodes in China. And so this impression is based on the first six episodes. This drama came with a few disadvantages. First, because there have been so many good versions and frankly speaking, very, very well made uh, at different times. Personally, I prefer the Japanese version. I think it's the best version just because it really goes to places like it doesn't hold back. If you look at the Japanese version, when there's really messed up stuff, it, it doesn't hold back and it's more authentic to the original manga, which is also a Japanese manga. And then the Taiwan version would come as the second one because it's the original one. And also it just created such a big phenomenon that I think if people come back in two decades of Asian drama history, this would definitely be one of the top 10 dramas that have sort of the longest and strongest influence. And then the other versions, we can argue which one is better. And I think this drama came at this time with that disadvantage because there have been many good versions. And it came at a time which is like 15 years later. Drama market, uh, entertainment market, the internet blooming has created so much content and so many ways to access content for people. These days people are not restricted to TV station. Whatever they broadcast you watch, people can choose what they want to watch. And also people still haven't forgotten about the original Taiwan series, successful actors and actresses. Over the past few days, because of the new series release uh, on Chinese social media, people actually started to post a lot of very reminiscent old posts, gifs, pictures from the original series and just comparing it to the new one and saying, you know, just how classic the original one is, which I agree. Another major reason that this drama may not be um, very well received or get a lot of good approval is that we're now at a different age as opposed to 15 years ago. This is a different time. There's a thing called trend and it's similar to fashion. It's what type of stories become popular at a particular time. This story was super popular 15 years ago because it was at the right time. This type of 霸道总裁爱上我 If you watch Asian drama, you know 霸道总裁爱上我 what it means. The story is too old for 2018 audiences. We're tired of that. We're probably tired of all kinds of fantasy dramas as well. And also this type of modern romantic dramas that you know is very far from reality. With all those disadvantages, I think a lot of people come in watching the new version with with all those pre-decided decisions that they want to make about this drama. So they pick at everything that they think is not good. My honest opinion based on the first six episodes of the new Meter Garden is that it is a reasonably well-produced modern school romantic drama. It's obvious flaw is its dubbing. It has dubbing for almost all characters and it's not the best dubbing that you can find in China which resulted in sometimes a very jarring experience when you look at the actor and you know the sound is not really coming from that person. Unfortunately, this is just a disease of Chinese drama these days. Then the story is pretty much the same story. So the thing is, if you're familiar with the original series, there's nothing in the plot that will surprise you. In terms of the acting, 
I actually think the two leads are doing a fairly good job. I wouldn't say they are exceptionally good, impressively good, or surpassing the previous really good Shan Cai and Dao Mingsi. I think they've done a fairly good job for me to not really bash at them for not being good actor or actress for their roles. But again, there's nothing special, or or at least so far, I think I'm just happy or satisfied with it, but not. Delighted by it, I still think the uh, uh, Japanese version,、um, the two lead actors in Japanese version are definitely the best. But I don't think on Chinese internet, especially right now, the way that people talk about the new Meteor Garden is entirely fair, due to all the reasons that I've just talked about. I think played a, a part into this. Personally, I'm not a fan of any of those young actors. I barely know any of them. Shen Yue, the female lead actress, probably is the best known because she. Um, she was in、uh, Love So Beautiful last year, which was super successful. For the new F4, I'm pretty happy with their appearance. I think they fit into the description of the manga very well. I'd say after the third, fourth episode, you start to get a feel about their their friendship and each individual character's differences. In the beginning, it's kind of muddy, and then it starts to get clearer. Obviously, for this story, we all know that the male lead. Dao Mingxi is definitely the most important role, and then、uh, Hua Zilei, which used to be played by Vic Zhou, is the sort of second male lead. For those two, they are going to have more screen time as male actors, and so far, I'm pretty happy with with what they have given. And this drama is updated to 2018, so the way people communicate,、uh, how people use social media,、uh, jokes and stuff that is kept pretty up to date. So there are funny moments that are fresh or new that you didn't see in the original story that is now、uh, put and sort of comfortably into China's mainland、uh, Shanghai city as the setting. I think if you weren't familiar with the story, the best version is still to watch the Japanese version. If you are familiar with the story, then you're really just watching this drama for, for the look of it, for how they basically redo the classic scenes, the classic actions and plots and the relationships, how the new actors kind of work themselves into this very very well known story, and then probably looking at some, I don't know, new fresh. Good-looking faces that you might enjoy on screen. So this is not really a super, I guess, useful first impression video. But if you're familiar with how I do my reviews, you probably already have a feel of how I gauge dramas and what I consider to be good or not good or okay. So for the new Meteor Garden, it's falling on my scale of an okay drama between an okay drama and a drama that has still has a bit left to be. Improved, definitely not as bad as people kind of bash it right now on Chinese internet. That is my first impression of the 2018 Meteor Garden. Thank you for watching Avenue X. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.